Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if this clip is a little, well, badly lit, just because the sun is shining in a weird way and I can't, I can't seem to get the angle right so that I'm not completely in the dark. Anyway, I am starting this video, unfortunately, with some quite sad news. Um, I am on my way to return my uniform, work phone and ID badge because unfortunately I've come to the decision to leave the care company that I work for and I realised that some people might be a little bit disappointed in that. Um, however, there are there were multiple reasons and it's taken it it's taken a long time to come to this decision. Um, I was just on a very casual um like a casual flexible zero hour contract um and yeah unfortunately i some of you will have probably guessed that this was coming just because i do get a lot of questions on pretty much on a weekly basis asking if i still work in care because obviously i hadn't picked up a shift in a long time um and obviously i've got my nails done so you know that's kind of an indicator that i'm not working in in care but i i have still been on the books but because it was a bank contract there wasn't really any obligation to work unless i um needed it or wanted to etc um however there was i mean like i say there were a number of reasons I'll, I'll give you one reason but it's not like you know nothing bad has happened when i think about the shifts that i was working for this company <laughs> This sounds really bizarre and I never ever thought I would say it, but I, the shifts and the hours that I was doing made me miss working just a 12 hour shift. I think I didn't quite realise how brutal a 16 hour shift would be and when you're doing that on a very regular basis it is exhausting and I couldn't put my all into both that and into youtube and social media and things and obviously you know youtube and social media is my main source of income so i kind of felt that i was lacking and withdrawing from social media because of how exhausted i was from doing you know 16 hour shifts during the week um but this is definitely not to say that i will be giving up working in care altogether i'll still be looking out for kind of more like casual work as it were in terms of you know joining another bank maybe it's with the nhs but it would just be that i'm i can't believe i'm saying this like only doing 12 hour shifts rather than like 16 sometimes 17 because it's like i say it's brutal out there um it's brutal in the private sector but yeah i i feel like healthcare is healthcare has always been something that i have thoroughly enjoyed doing and enjoyed working in and i think maybe this company was just not quite right for me um, which is a shame but i'm gonna go and hand in I've got my phone, my ID, and my uniforms. I've got three uniforms here to hand in. Um, they were perfectly understanding, and they, they know that I did social media as well, so they kind of got it. So, yeah, I'm going to hand this in. I will be on the lookout for more work, but it's just not something that I think I'll be doing straight away. Maybe it's in the new year. I might look at something else. I don't know. Um, but for now, unfortunately, it is goodbye to my care job, which is a shame. So, yeah, I'm going to go and hand all this in. Um, and then I might have a little chat with the managers and things because, you know, everyone's so lovely in, in the office and I will miss talking to them. Um, but I also need to go and get my nails done today because, sorry, I don't know if that's even picking up properly, but these are really grown out. Yeah, I need to go and get them done. I also have a dentist appointment this afternoon, which I'm really not looking forward to. I hate the dentist. The dentist is just a, like, no, never enjoyed it. Never enjoyed, like, people scraping and prodding and poking at my teeth no not for me but anyway i've got my new bag that um emmanuel got on the asos like winter wa uh, autumn wardrobe haul thank you so much for all the comments on that by the way all so lovely um yeah let's go on let's go and sort this out and i will catch up with you very soon <laughs> Don't 
behind me, I've just put a hair mask in. I've started using, I don't know if I've actually mentioned this, I probably have, but I've started using the hair syrup Rapunzel now and I put it on the other day or last, whatever last hair wash. I put, basically I put them on every time I wash my hair as like a pre-wash syrup. Um, and I've started using the Rapunzel one and the last time I washed my hair, it was so nice. So hoping that this is like doing its thing, growing my hair out because I want big, long, luscious locks. <laughs> um, anyway, that's not actually what I wanted to talk to you about. We, um, Emmanuel is getting, he's in the petrol station getting some drinks for us and we're going to go out and basically shoot him like a little, or some clips of his car essentially using the drone. Um, so we're just going to go to like some country roads or like to just somewhere a bit remote so he can like drive around and I'm like shooting um, his car and stuff from above or trying to follow it or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and do that. I'll try and put some clips in. But yeah, if you or if you have a partner who wants to support Emmanuel's channel, it is there's a lot to do with cars and specifically his Ford Focus. He likes to do like little mods which basically don't affect the insurance as it were so he's not doing anything major to it but he's doing like upgrades to the look and the design of it and honestly since he got this car it looks completely different um he's done a really good job so yeah and he's filmed little bits and bobs and stuff on his channel so if you want to go and check it out I'll, the link is in the description but it is your average brother um basically the point of the channel is that he's not like a car mechanic he's not um like trained or anything like this he's just trying to fumble his way through doing bits and bobs to his car so yeah he's doing really well with it um i don't know what he's getting me for my drink i've just dropped off a couple of vintage parcels one for every and one for in post um so they're heading out today and let's head out to i don't actually know what the area is called that we're going to but I know kind of vaguely where it is. Essentially, it's like there's like a back road which connects like North Gosforth and Kingston Park. Um, and if you like keep going through that, I think you end up in like Dinnington. And I don't know if anyone knows these places, but um, if you keep going, you just end up kind of in the sticks of nowhere. So we're just we just want somewhere really remote where we can just take some really nice shots of, a, of his car. So let's go and do that. He's coming, and I can see. <laughs> We asked him for drinks. He said he was getting drinks, but it looks like he's got snacks too, so. What did you buy? <laughs> oh. oh. I just bought, um, what was it called? I almost got a headache from the lady there because she was telling me. I wanted to buy Mountain Dew. Okay. <laughs> what was she wrong said, with what? What was wrong with Mountain Dew? Yeah, nothing, exactly, nothing. Okay. But I wanted to buy Mountain Dew and then this fruit twist for you. Mm hmm. And then she was like, um, the fruit twist comes one buy one get one free, blah blah blah. Oh, like, so you got so you. Like take another drink for the. I was like, so I can't take the Mountain Dew with that. She was like, no, you can't take the Mountain Dew. The Mountain Dew has another different package. I started explaining the Mountain Dew, and then so it was like a couple of drinks that you could take, but mm. not mix and match and all that. Right, so, so I just drip, drop the mountain dew on. We've got a tango Honestly. and some Doritos. Yep. We've got um, dips. I the dip, know. I think, uh, in yeah, the fridge, yeah. That's why I bought it. Oh! <laughs> I've just been telling them what we're doing, so. Oh, uh, yeah. friends. <laughs>
good evening. It is later on. Um, I've just washed my hair. I'm catching up on Anastasia Kings North's vlogs. Uh, she's in Nashville at the minute, in case you were wondering. Um, oh, I haven't even brought out the stuff that I was going to use. Hang on. Right, got them. Bonbons. I've tried these so many times. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to try them again just because I think that now my hair is a little bit longer and a little bit like in better condition. By the way, just use this as well, the Colour Wow Money Mist. I there, this one, I've just used this, they very, very kindly sent me one of these and they also sent me a huge, um, Dream Court one. Hang on. It's like this this isn't the exact one that they, this isn't the one they sent me that i already had this but they sent me a huge one of those as well um which like buzzing i can't believe like i've switched over to color uh, color wow's um shampoo and conditioner and i told you guys about that i think they heard i think they heard because literally within a week they reached out on instagram and tiktok and they're like let us send you this like yes get it in my inbox please um so this is the color wow money mist luke's light leave-in conditioner for glossy expensive looking hair now does my hair look expensive not sure i mean these roots don't but let's not talk about that um so anyway back to the point i i'm gonna try these again i've watched another tutorial on tiktok and there's somebody who just uses two instead of three because the there's different there's different methods of doing it so you get three in the thing some people do like a mohawk type one where they do like their fringe and then they do like the mids and then they do like the ends um or you can do what some people what i like to call the maca packer um which is like one here and then two to the side yeah <laughs> so one at the top and two at the sides uh maca packer but then the girl i've just seen on tiktok just does one at the front and then one at the like the crown is that the crown yeah one there which has like the rest of her hair in so she just does like her fringe in one so like this in one and then everything else in another and I'm gonna try that one first because I feel like oh that looks terrible um I feel like maybe that might be where I could be going wrong but I'm gonna try something else as well because essentially sorry I'm just thinking should I put some hair oil in or should I will that not work hmm Hang on, let me put a little bit of hair oil in. This might, this could be a huge mistake, but I always oil my hair after I've showered and I feel, I feel a little bit lost if I don't do that. So, anyway, <laughs> hair oiled. I'm gonna do just kind of like fringe in one. So, like there, yeah. Fringe in one. Now, the problem I've always had is that they just do a little bit too much <laughs> to my hair so like if i the fact that this is going like under hang on let me get it in so that i don't mess it up um the fact that this is going under what has always happened is that in the morning my fringe i mean what is that what have i done here Oh, hang on. My fringe will look something like that, basically, where it's like really overly, like out. Sorry, I'm using my computer as a as a light. <laughs> right, let's try this again. I feel like this section isn't like big enough. Oh, I don't know. I need to stop stressing and just get on with it. This is a bit that's not tucked in. God, I don't know how people do this. Like people swear by heatless curls, but they've just never really worked for me. I feel like everything that people rave about when it comes to hair products or like for example the Dyson Airwrap I got the Sharp Flex style because people said oh it's just as good and it's cheaper blah 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 so I bought it I thought yeah a little box because it was a is this right surely <sighs> this is just gonna yeah what am I doing wrong? It's already curling my hair though. <laughs> That's a positive. Maybe I just don't have enough. Uh, right, let's try and do the back one first. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so like the things like the Dyson Airwrap or like, yeah, so I got the Shark Flex style 
didn't work. It just didn't work for me. And I'm seeing all these people come out with like amazing curls. And I'm like, I just want that. I just want that for myself. Why can't, like, why can't I have it? <laughs> is this gonna stay in? That is the big question because there is a lot of hair going into this one. It's all fell out. Oh my God. People never say how difficult this is, do they? Let me go off camera and see if I can do it. Sorry, this is, oh my God, this is reminding me of when I was 15, 14, 15. I literally, my fringe was like this. Can you imagine? And I sprayed it into place like that. And then I went to a place called the Goth Green in Newcastle City Centre where loads of goths and emos hung out. And I was like, but I came after my ballroom dance lessons. <laughs> out with my goth friends um <laughs> the ballroom dancer anyway <laughs> yeah this is literally how I used to have my hair because I really liked Kesha as well at the time and this was how Kesha had her hair like the further across the better really if I could like get more like that that was yeah and then I mean obviously the worst thing in the world was when you got that split. This is just reminding me of like 14 year old Jess. I used to literally used to pose like, like my MySpace photos were like, hang on, like that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm so glad I grew out of that. Right. Let me see if I can do this. Maybe my hair is too soft now that I've put the oil in that it's just slipping out. <sighs> Give me a minute. That was a battle, that was a battle, but we've done it. We've done it. So we've got two in, I have some stragglers. These, these are gonna annoy me in the morning because everything's gonna be really curly, apart from that. But my next tack is to put my bonnet on because with, I know exactly how I am. I thrash around in bed and like, they'll just come out, so. We're going to put the bonnet on and then hopefully in the morning we shall have some fairly intact <laughs> uh, bun, bun bonds, I think they're called. Anyway, let me just tie this up. I'm praying for this because I feel like this is so much effort and I know that a lot of companies advertise that like, oh, it's so comfortable sleep to sleep in, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. Unless my hair is down and like untouched it's not comfortable to sleep in wow that is billy i've put them up three times today those pillows <laughs> anyway this is my hair for the night <laughs> i'll see you in the morning i'll see you in the morning pray for me i need it good morning my thinking was that by putting this on that they would stay in place and hopefully come out a bit better i mean that one's not stayed in place i have a doctor's appointment this morning so if this doesn't go well i'm just gonna have to throw my hair up which i feel like is such a waste because i just washed it last night and i feel like when i wash my hair i want to have at least one day with it down and looking nice before I just scrape it up for the rest of the week. Oh, okay. That's, I'm not done, hang on. Let's try the back one. How's it look? <laughs> That's... Oh my... What is this? The fringe isn't quite there. Help, I need help. Why is this not working for me? This is the back. Is it any better? <laughs> Maybe I just need to go over it with like the straightener and just kind of chill out the front. I don't think I suit this though. Guys, it didn't work. It didn't work. 
I don't know what I'm, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I've ended up putting my hair up in a clip just because it just never... The, the videos that I see on TikTok are not matching up to what the results that I'm getting and I don't know where it's going wrong. Anyway, um, they're back in the cupboard for the foreseeable. Someone please just give me a couple of tips because I don't know what's happening. And it's so like, it's so annoying when obviously it takes like a whole night, like you're sleeping uncomfortably overnight for nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a asthma review this morning at the doctor's. So I'm gonna go to that and then I'm actually getting my hair done. I don't know whether I'm gonna vlog today or not. I haven't, like nothing that exciting is happening, but when is it ever? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this one. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love you, let me love you.